Okay guys, in this video we will check the selection and we will do more advanced selection by using select by attribute. So first, before we do our selection, let's make sure we have our four feature classes shown on the map and let's go here in the table of content and enable the selection view so we can see which layers is selectable and which not and also we can see how many features we selected then we are going to go here and select select features and we have some options here here the regular selection by select by rectangle by clicking here you can draw a rectangle on the map and it will select any features inside this rectangle you can clear selection and choose the next one select by polygon so you draw a polygon on the map and it will select any feature that intersect with this polygon and select by lasso and lasso you can have a freehand polygon that will select anything inside this polygon and select by circle where you can draw a circle and anything inside this circle will be selected for you the last one is select by line and this is just drawing a line and anything intersect with this line will be selected so we have this features right here intersect with the line that got selected and here you can clear the selection and we will put back select by rectangle and as you see here when we select specific features it will tell you which layer is selected from right here on the left and how many features is selected in this layer and you can clear the selection from here as well so now let's do our select by attribute by coming to selection menu and select by attributes we are going to try our select by attributes on the freeways so we are going to hide all the other layers and leave freeway and zoom to the freeway zoom to layer and we make sure that we choose freeways from here so let's say for example we want all the free select all the freeways that have an id of five so we are going to double click on the field name right here it's going to show up on the bottom right here and here it just generates or combine your query so here I double click on this field name it show up right here and if I want to know the values that I have for the freeway ID I say get unique values get unique values will give me all the values in this field so if I come here and open the attribute table you will see that the freeway ID have this values and this is the values that showing up here so it helped me instead of typing it just to select it from here so let's close the attribute table and say I want the freeway ID that is equal to 10 and when I click apply you will see that all the freeways that have 10 have been selected even though I have so many features so if I came here I see that I have six feature selected that have freeway ID 10 I can also remove this one and I say select all the freeways that have five as ID say apply you see this is the five have been selected for me uh, the other options here let's remove this one and say for example I want to choose the freeways that have length bigger than this is the icon for bigger than let's see what values we have so this values is a miles so let's choose I want all the freeways that have a length over 20 miles if I click apply you will see that all the selected features actually have a length more than or bigger than 20 miles I can also choose I can type it in the keyboard or I can choose it from here to make the smaller than and I say apply and it will, it will choose for me all the freeways that the length of the freeway is less than 20 miles and this operator is mainly used for the numeric values and also I can come here and combine between the queries I have so I can here say or length is bigger than 40 miles so that means it will select all the lines that have length smaller than 20 and bigger than 40 when I click apply you see that some features are selected and other features is not selected if I try to identify this one here I am sure right now that the length is not less than 20 and not bigger than 40 so you can combine between operations and queries right here so let's say for example let's try something else like uh, the freeway IDs that is 
And actually see while I'm saying what I want to query is you can actually find it here. So I want the freeway IDs that is not null. So that means any freeway that have a null ID will not be selected. And what I expect here, all of them will be selected. But for example, if I change it the freeway to GUI ID, nothing will be selected because all my GUI IDs is null. So that's one of the other options you can choose. Also for the text value, you can say, I want to search for the freeways that have part of a text. What that means is that when I get the unique values, I want all the freeways that have number five in it. It doesn't have to be 15. It doesn't have to be 05, 105. It doesn't have to be 215. I just need the freeways that have five on it. In order to do that, you come and do a single quotation and then you put the five inside of it. But before you click apply, you need to define if you want the query to run on the values that have five at the end or five in the beginning of the text or five anywhere in the text. So if, for example, if I'm going to choose that I want to search for the freeway IDs that have five at the end of the text, I put percentage sign in the beginning before the five I say apply and now all the selected features is the one that ends with five like 105 or 15 so if I open the attribute table here I will see that all the freeways that have been selected is ending with five like 105 or 15 or 215 or 405 so now let's try to search for the freeway IDs that start with five so we are going to put the percentage symbol at the end I'll say apply now it shows only the freeways that starts with five and we only have the five freeway that start with five. If I want to search for the freeway IDs that have five anywhere in the text, we just put percentage sign before the five and after the five. And when I click apply, it will select all the features that have five in it, like 105, 15 or 215 or five or 405. So let's try this one more time because I know it's a little bit confusing. So let's go back here and let's do the selection on the counties. Let's zoom back a little bit, clear the selection, zoom to the counties, enable the labels so we can see the names of the counties. And let's come here and say, I want to see all the counties names that contain the letter S inside of it. So we can come here and say, like single quotation and then percentage symbol type s another percentage symbol and single quotation and say apply so it did select for me the feature classes that have s in it but as you see here sent santa barbara is not selected because we entered a lowercase s so let's make it an uppercase s and click apply you will see that all the features that have uppercase s inside of it have been selected we can do also try to do i want all the features that is starting with s will apply so as you see here all the features that have s in the beginning of it have been selected and just to make more sure let's open our attribute table again you will see that san diego have been selected santa barbara san luis and san bernardino so this is the features that start with uppercase S have been selected by using the like and the percentage symbol. And that's how you use select by attribute. So you can try to uh, play with this queries and see what you can do with it. How can you combine different queries to create your selection? And also at the bottom here, you can click clear to clear the options and verify is used to make sure that this query is valid before you click apply. So for example, if I said county name and I type something wrong and I said verify, it will give me an error. Tell me that we cannot find values because this is not a valid expression. But if I make my expression right by writing equal, get unique value, kern, I say verify, it will tell me this expression successfully verified. So that means when I click apply, I am sure that I will get some values. So now when I click verify, it tell me that this expression is valid. 
and that means that when I click apply it's not gonna give me any error help will open the help menu for you with how to use the SQL expressions inside select by attribute so you can read this information right here so it can help you to understand how to combine and create your queries and here load if you have someone who already created a SQL query for you you can get this file from them and this file will have an extension of exp and you can load this file right here to make your query save will help you save this specific query you did in an exp file so you can share it with someone later so that's it for selection and select by attribute and in the next video we will go for the next option to do the select by location. We'll see you in the next video. Thanks.